This is Ryan Abraham, USCFootball.com here at Spring Practice, Howard Jones Field. We've got Peter Sermon, new USC linebackers coach, recruiting coordinator. I think associate head coach, you got a lot of titles out there. I got more titles in the library. <laughs> it's good. Well, let's start off with the recruiting stuff first. Uh, we know you can't talk about kids you haven't signed, but pretty good signing day. You guys come in the last couple of months and close on everyone you wanted on signing day. It was a special uh, close. You know, we found some some young men that you know we feel that can be difference makers uh, at the end, which this class. You know uh, our depth sorely needs, and it's uh, you know they're 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 a big reflection of uh, the direction of this program and, and what we're going to do in the future. Uh, as far as you go, coming down from Washington, how's the transition been to Los Angeles? It's been great. You know, shoot, uh, got a house down in South Bay. Oh, nice. Got about a early in the morning when I come into work, about 21 minute commute. So can't beat that. South Bay's pretty good. You got like four kids down there too. They'll have fun at the beach. They will. You know, <laughs> going to the beach. That's a, that's a big sell coming from Seattle. <laughs> Not too bad. Um, okay. As far as the the team goes, what, what have you seen? from the linebacker so far you know I've been real real happy with them uh, really their desire to learn you know they've done a good job of, of taking some coaching and not making repeat mistakes so uh, we're getting a lot of reps and a lot of investment uh, with the with the tempo that we practice so it's been good that these guys are getting uh, tons of reps and, and they and they practice hard uh, they do a good job in the meeting room, so it's, it's been overall uh, very, very positive. It changes a little bit. You guys kind of ran like, well, you weren't here, but 5 2 scheme. Now it's a more of a 3 4 thing. Can you describe what the linebacker positions are, what their names are? Because there seems to be a lot of confusion on that. Well, right now we, we're playing uh, Sam, Mike, and Will. Sam predominantly is going to be our field linebacker. Mike and Will are going to be the two uh, really behind the ball linebackers okay. of traditional, more inside 3 4 um, body type. So uh, that's what we're doing. So Mike and Will is probably Anthony Sorio and, and Hayes Pillard at this point? Right now it is. Yeah, right okay. now it is, and the guys playing outside are uh, Jabari and Quinton right now. And that's not to say we couldn't we couldn't move some other people around. A lot of people are talking about um, Jabari as, as a guy. Jabari Ruffin, uh, who's come in there and didn't really get to see him do, do a lot last year, but could be a big contributor. You think he could be? Yeah, I mean, I think Quinton and both Jabari, you know, they both have uh, kind of different uh, body types, but uh, both can be very, very productive, in my opinion, playing to the field. Uh, rushing off the edge, um, doing some things that uh, you know kind of suits their natural abilities. The other outside spot, like a Scott Starr or a Jared Tavai, is that those are more on the defensive line? Are they kind of a different group than you guys? Yeah, we're not. They're going to be with uh, Coach Wilson. Okay, they're going to be with Coach Wilson. So uh, I think you know one of the one of the biggest indicators of what position they play is who they meet with. Okay, <laughs> you know, so he'll be playing those guys. Will be playing more of the traditional uh, stand up outside backer into the boundary with a little less space than uh, Jabari and Quinn. Is there someone like a Jabari? Could he move over to that like that spot, or Scott Starr move back in with you? Yeah, there's. I think, you know, some of those body types have a lot of versatility. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, we'll continue to evaluate everybody's strengths and weaknesses through spring, and then you know maybe make some some decisions moving forward, and then get a chance to look at some of our young guys coming in and see uh, what position guys play that, that can help us win the most games. Now, this first two weeks, it's a lot of install, not a lot of hitting. What have you seen so far from these guys? Yeah, you know, I think they have. Uh, we got some ability, you know. That's that's the most important thing, and that's that's the exciting thing. I mean, uh, depth is an issue. I mean, it's you, you always want more guys, but until they let us play with uh, more than eleven, you know, we need we need eleven good ones. So uh, you know, we'll just keep um, getting these guys better and keep having fun every day. And one last thing for you, like the last few weeks of uh, spring football, what are kind of goals? What do you want to accomplish with these linebackers before heading into the, the, the summer? You know, I still want to get everything installed. I need the terminology to be right. Uh, I need them to, to understand the new terminology and the vocab so they can play at the level that their physical abilities can shine. Uh, the more they think, you know, anyone that's ever played football, um, the more you think, the slower you play. So, you know, it needs to become second nature and we just got to keep pushing. You know, uh, we get 100, 120 reps every day in practice. So those guys, those are, those are vital, vitally important reps to continue to get them comfortable so they can play to the, the speed and the capacity that they're available. All right. Well, thanks very much, Coach Sherman. We're signing off from Howard Jones Field. Make sure you check out uscfootball.com for more.